Hi, I'm Nigel. I work for Luggy Scooters and today we're going to show you how to assemble your Luggy and unbox it and other bits that you can do with it. Your Luggy will come in a, a box like so. A few things just you'll notice in the top. You have what we call a quick start guide, put on the side and your instruction manual. There's also a, a fair bit of padding, again you can just put that one side for now. As we unbox the charging unit, if we just put that safe one side. So the scooter that we're unboxing at the moment is what we refer to as the Laggy Elite. So again, comes with the armrests. So just as we take them out, put them by the side of your charging unit for now. Once we get to that point, it's quite simple. Just on the outside of your box, you will see an arrow. The idea of it is, when we assemble the box up on its edge, the arrow needs to be pointing up into the sky. So handles just at the back. Just as we raise the leggy forward. Reach in, handle, and then gently slide the scooter forward out of the box. Assembling your leggy once you have it out of the box, it's very straightforward. Tip it back on one edge, so our release pin is facing away from you. Gently pull the release pin out, take hold just underneath the seat, back of the seat, and just gradually open the scooter, taking the weight as we drop it down. Once we're at this point, what we just need to do is just lift the seat up. Back the seat comes up, take the weight of the seat, pinch the red handle at the back here, Seat position one, seat position two. As we assemble the scooter, we go from back to front, bottom to top. So the back's done. As we move forward, we have these two, what we refer to as chassis clips, just here and here. Now they're important because obviously that will take the bend of the scooter out. So very straightforward. We have a lip on the back of this chassis here and a lip on the clip. So it quite simply goes up over just as they make contact and secure it back down like so. The same on the other side, up, over, ease it down, lock it in place. So now we've assembled the seat, now the centre section's assembled also, we move to what we refer to as the tiller. Again the clamp I just ended earlier, clutch lever to an upright position. Lock our clamp back down, lock it down. Now we've gone back, middle, front. Now to assemble the tiller. We have two clamps on the tiller to adjust the height of the scooter. Undo the bottom one, lift that up, lock it in place. Next one just under the tiller head, we open that. So as you can see, it's adjustable. Wherever you feel most comfortable with it, lock it back in. Once you're sat on the scooter itself, Again, clutch lever can adjust your tilt for you. With your Elite model, you have adjustable hand grips. They're spring-loaded. All we simply do, pull them out, twist them forward, and release. If you don't want them out, you want to put them back in, we just reverse the process. So we just pull them out, twist them back, and release. Okay, again, referring back to the Elite model, we've got the armrests to assemble. What you will see, is a tube section on the side. Again, fits our tube with the, of the armrest, line them up, slide them in. Now to skew the armrests in place, it'll come with two spring-loaded clips. Just underneath where the armrest has just been placed in. Same on the other side. The correct way to install your battery in the luggage tray itself, we have a lip at the back here and we have a flat edge. So your flat edge goes in at approximately 45 degrees into the tray, slide it back, ease it down onto the clip and then you'll hear a nice distinctive click as I press down. That click then tells you that your battery is securely in place. 
now we have the battery in place, the armrests in place, your scooter's basically ready to use. Just underneath your tiller head, you will see um, an on off switch. Quite simply, it's what we refer to as a rocker switch. It's quite simply rock it up to turn it on, and as you can see, it's displayed uh, in nice, red, uh, illuminated in nice red colour. Um, when it's turned on, obviously, we can see just on the top here that obviously the Elite model has the um, LED display lights, hence the battery is fully charged so they're all illuminated. Then when we're ready what, to turn the scooter off, just simply rock it back down again. So I'd like to take this opportunity to answer some frequently asked questions. First one being, how do you charge my luggy? We need to ensure that the luggy is turned off. As you can see here, I've just unboxed your charging unit. Two pieces, quite simply. Plug the one into the other. Pretty self-explanatory, your three pin plug goes into your, your main socket. And then we have our other end that fits into our charging side. When you turn your mains on, on your charging unit itself, you'll see a display light. Now, when you initially turn your charging unit on, your light will go red. When you insert the charging side into your scooter, your light will turn amber. You'll also hear a small fan start to work just inside the charging unit. When your scooter is fully charged, the light will turn green and stay a permanent green colour and your fan will cut out. Quite simply, turn it off at the mains, unplug it and then your scooter is ready to use. Another frequently asked question we get asked quite a bit is how to use our docking station. Okay, very straightforward. Again, we need our charging unit. Again, ensure that your charging unit is plugged in, obviously, your mains end first. And then, obviously, our three pin section into our charging portal. We have our battery, our laggy battery. Again, pretty straightforward. Our charging ports, we line up with our charging unit on the port itself. Line them up. Gently lower onto the pins. You may find this sticking up somewhat. If not, just gently settle onto the charging unit. Once you've settled down onto the charging unit, again, referring back to our, our charger. When we initially plug it in, it'll go red in color. Then when our battery is safely inserted on the docking station, our charging light will go amber and we're listening out for our fan starting to come in. Moving on to another frequently asked question that we get. Obviously, the Luggy being a, a motorized scooter also has what we call a freewheel. To put the scooter into freewheel, we come to our red lever just at the back here and then we just push it forward that then disengages the motor and allows you to freewheel your scooter. Should you come back to your scooter after having it in freewheel and turn it on and try and use it, you will notice the scooter won't move. You will also notice that your light switch is flashing a sequence of five flashes. That then indicates that your scooter is in freewheel. Now, to reset it, it's very straightforward. Turn our switch back off again. Return back to the freewheel lever at the back. Click it back into gear. Come back to our switch. Switch it on. As you can see, our light is back to a permanent solid red color. Allows us to use the scooter. Just gonna take this opportunity to show you how to attach your luggy backpack. To your scooter. Once taken out the bag, quite simple, we lift over the top and there we go. 
what you can do if you find it's a little bit loose for you, there are straps to be adjusted and you can adjust accordingly. I'm just gonna show you how to fit your under seat folding basket. Place it in situ, line up my Velcro straps. Just fits neatly around the leg. Come back to the front. And there's your basket. So I'm gonna show you how to fold it back down into suitcase mode. So again, we just do everything in reverse. We go top to bottom, front to back. Starting off with our hand grips. Again, spring loaded. Pull them out, twist them back, allow them to go in. Top clamp. Second clamp, clutch lever on the side, lock it back down, click it in, lock it over. Our chassis clips, release, simply lift and release to give us our bend. Take the weight of the seat, red handle, looking for our indicators, lock it back down underneath the seat and lift. Onto its bumper, lock it back. Back to our tiller clips, one and two. And there we go, our luggy in luggage mode. I'm just gonna take this opportunity to show you how to put your luggy into your new travel bag. Bind them up like so. Velcro strap at the back there, and zip, fold back, and then just gently roll your luggy into the bag. Fold back around, reconnect, and then. Do our zips back up, back round to the front of the luggy on our handle, 